Hi everyone. I've had some requests to show how our Lazy Jack cradle system works. So Angie and I set out to record ours. Um, the MTLSA series race number three was scheduled for this day, but it was canceled due to the storms that were coming in right after sunrise, um, right after these pictures actually. It did rain nearly all day, and after about five or six hours of relaxing on board, we had about a 30 minute window between uh, storm bands to, to go ahead and, and explain and, and actually raise the mainsail and everything. And this is the resulting video. On the way back, or, well actually going out, Angie wanted to learn how to pull out from the slip for the first time, which she did, and she returned the boat to the slip, and, and I, I admit I was nervous, but she did an awesome job. Well, here's our resulting video. What you doing? Reading the book, enjoying the rainy weather. <laughs> <laughs> Same page. Will be. You sounding out the words? I've got the Moby's piped through the bike, the boat speakers. <laughs> Rain slowed down. The cripple one goes first. Okay, quick note on my lazy jack system and stuff. I actually have to uh, disconnect it from the, the boom to put this particular boot on. Um, I know some of, the, some of them have cradles that the sail just falls into, but it's no big deal. And it's actually easy to do. I'll show you here just in a moment. All right, I've unconnected the the uh, end of the lazy jack from where I store it down here. And if you look, it actually goes up, and I just hook it underneath this hook here that came with the kit. And the bungee part just hooks under there, and that's when I pull it tight. And that's for storage. And I actually trailer it like that too. And I put this on to keep everything quiet when we're at the marina or when we're anchored. So now I've got one lazy jack free. So I'll walk down and clip it into here. Come up, grab the middle. All right, so it's on the middle hook. So that makes one side of the cradle. So it's bungeed on the back, comes up. This line here, okay, this is the bungee. This is the actual line, and it goes up and links in to the middle there. Let's see if I can... Links in there, and then it goes up, and there's a pad eye on the top of the mast back down to here. And like I said, this is line, so you have the line up there that Y's. The line comes down, there's a loop on each one, and then it's hooked. So pad eye on, on the mast, that stays connected, comes up, hooks down, and that's just a quick hook, and then back down that stays connected. And then I'll show you when I'm going under sail, I'll actually um, remove these and I just unhook them, and that's how I uh, 
let go of the tension on there so that the sail doesn't lose shape. Okay, on the port side, now I've disconnected from the storage position. Like I said, I do trailer it like that. So I unhook the bungee, make sure that everything's free. Get that out of there. So now that's free. I come back and reconnect all that in a little bit. So then I grab the hook and then I'll hook it, hook it on the, the hook on the port side of the boom. Making sure that I go on the outside of my single line leaf, single line reefing, that's that black line. And then split it again. And then just bring the middle of the M down. And we're ready to go ahead and get ready to go. So hook and back the boat out and then I'll show you how we lift it. Okay, we have hardly any wind, but we're going to do this anyway. Uh, Angie's got us out in the middle of this cove or this uh, arm, and uh, she's going to turn into the wind. If you look, the wind indicator up there, or my tail tails, it's kind of 90 degrees off our starboard. So we're going to turn into the wind and cut the motor, and then we'll do a little bit of filming here. Okay, we're turning. She's turning us into the wind here, and uh, I'll remove the last sail tie. Get us ready. I've already got the downhaul released and untied so it'll, it'll uh, flow freely as I pull the mainsail up. And she'll keep us into the wind, and it's going to be hard to film and do that at the same time. So now I'm ready to raise the mainsail. I got my clutches loose. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release on each side. That takes the pressure off of that. I don't like raising it with it. Clutch it off. Clean it off. And we'll actually, I'll leave these here loose so that while we're sailing, they don't interfere with sail shape. We're gonna move over, I'll take over the sail for a little bit. Ordinarily, we would uh, clean up the lines. We'd clean up the lines and uh, get everything ship shape, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. We'll come around and. Uh, well, there is no wind out. No, and I sat on wet lines. So. All right. Yay. So, right now, if I want to raise it uh, to lower the sail, it go all over the place. So before I lower it, what we'll do is I either use a boat hook and just reach down on the boat hook and pull it up and hook it, or step up there. A little bit harder to do with boat hook, but it can be done. A lot of times, if there's a little bit of pressure on the on the sail from wind, because we're not quite into the wind. I'll hook the leeward side like this, or the windward side like this, and then get us turned into the wind. I'll get the engine turned on. And as soon as I get in the wind, I'll hook the other side and lower the sail. So we need to bring it around. Okay. So now I do the same on this side. Grab it with the hook. I've got it here. So I'll hook it. Now the cradle's set up on both sides. And you can see it's loose. I'll unclean everything. It's release loose. the uh, the main shell. And if it has trouble coming down, that's what the downhaul is for. And I just start pulling on it. Get it down to where I need it to be. Do a quick flake. And at this point, 
we can go into a cove and anchor or whatever. I usually just put on a uh, a uh, sail tie just on the back couple here, just to make it neat. Well, that's it. That's our lazy jack system. The sail craters, cr sail cradle slash lazy jack. And uh, because of the materials, the way it's made, um, I, I know I can repair it real easy with uh, stuff that I buy whenever I get to that point. I'll uh, try to find the address, the web address of where I bought it, and post that on the end of this. But that's it. And it was reasonably priced. Yes, it was. It was very reasonably priced. I just want to show our new uh, helm cover. We had it made by um, one of the members of our sailing organization, but it fits perfectly over the toothbrush and it fits over my instrument con uh, con consoles and it's zip up so it's easy to, to put on. And it's tapered at the bottom, it's awesome.